Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it very much, thank you. And in today's video, I'm gonna add a spotlight effect, or uh, rather show you how to add a spotlight effect to your photos in Lunar. You can do this in any version of Lunar. I'm in Flex today, but Flex, Lunar 2018, 2017, 2012, no, there wasn't a Luminar back then, whatever. It's uh, it's all the same filter. So um, let me just jump into it. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this, I've, I've had a number of uh, questions over the last few months. Hey, how do you do this kind of spotlight effect? And they might want, uh, like there's a street light on and they wanna make the light pool on the ground below a street light, for example, or even, hey, there's a flower and I like the darker background with a kind of little bit brighter center, but it, it seems like it's more than just the vignette gem and uh, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna show you an example of both. Let's get to it. Um, okay, so the first thing here is I got my trusty gray sheet of paper. And what I always do to add this spotlight effect is I just use the exposure filter. And if I wanna make it warm, I use color temperature and then I use a radial mask. So let me show you. You can just increase the exposure to create a bright spot. And then, oops, uh, you don't close the filter. Uh, you get the radial mask and you come in here and you click and drag to draw a circle. Hey Jim, that's dark in the center. Indeed it is, but you gotta click invert and there you go. So um, all I've done, and then you can move it around, change your shape, blah, 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 right? You can do all that. Um, and then you can just increase or decrease the exposure within that um, radial mass that you created, right? And then you say you're done. Here's the thing, if you then want to warm it up, guess what? Yeah, if you're on the base layer, this doesn't work because you need to do a layer mask and you can't do that on the base layer because now you'd have to come in and try to create another radial mask and match it up with this one exactly and then invert it and all, and it gets to be a little kludgy. So I don't recommend doing that. So I'm gonna just close that and I'm gonna just reset that to zero, turn it off and I've already got these uh, filters on a, an adjustment layer, uh, an extra layer. So there we go. Increase exposure, add a radial mask, click and drag, and invert. And then if I wanna warm it, whoops, huh, caught myself, didn't I? Let me start that over. Um, I was doing that as a filter mask, not as a layer mask. So here we go. Um, I just deleted the filter and started over. So let me, uh, let me learn something here. Increase the exposure, increase the temperature. Now I go to the layer, not to the filter, but the layer, so I'm getting every filter on that layer. That's what a layer mask does. And then I click radial mask, and then I click and drag, and then I invert, and now I've got a, a warm uh, you know, radial, if you will. Uh, and that's how you do it. So quick and easy, that would be like a spot of light. Hey Jim, it'd look a whole lot cooler if you did this on a photo. It sure would. So here we go. Um, Base layer, I added Accent AI, because this photo was kind of dark, so let me show you the before and the after, just a tiny bit of brightness. Um, and then I added a layer, as I just showed you. I'm gonna increase the exposure, and um, I'm gonna go now, and I'm gonna, uh, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do a layer mask here, and I'll show you why. Um, I'm gonna say radial mask, I'm on the filter, and I'm gonna click and drag my radial mask. I'm gonna set this kind of the way I want it. I'm gonna hit invert, and there you go, right? So. Um, that's a quick and easy way. And then, you know, you need to play with the shape. And if you haven't used radial mass, I've got videos about it. I'll, I'll put a link up there if, if I can find it. Uh, it was a long time ago, but that allows you to create that sort of spotlight effect, right? So there it is, I've got a radial mask. The reason I didn't do a, um, a layer mask here is because I now wanna add the vignette because I can sort of double up on the effect with the vignette. So here, um, if I had done a layer mask here, then the vignette would only apply within that, it'd be a mess. So uh, now I'm taking the vignette and I'm kind of cranking that. And there you go, I'm, I'm sort of doubling up the effect, which is even though I haven't brightened the center anymore, I've darkened the edges a lot with the vignette. You could come in with inner light and say, hey, I wanna bump that up a little bit, but it's already bright enough in the center, I think, that you don't wanna do that. So there's the before photo and there's the after. So a floral example of how you add sort of a spotlight effect. Uh, let me do one more, and this will be a cityscape. Uh, this photo's previously been edited. It's from uh, Paris, that's the Hotel de Ville, and the carousel caught a long exposure. I love uh, blurring out lights and things like that. Um, and anyway, shot at a high or a tight aperture, high f-stop, as you can tell because of these little starbursts on the lights in the background um, and the light here. So that's how you can tell that. Anyway, okay, so, 
here's what I want to do. I want to do the color temperature and the exposure, but I want to do them both. So I've got the filters here, but that's on the base layer, Jim. So Jim needs to plan better and go get my filter. So I added a new layer. I'm going to get exposure and color temperature. Uh, you might be saying, where's the street light? And the truth is, uh, I spent like 30 minutes in my library. I was like, I know I got a street light photo somewhere and I couldn't find a good one. So I got this photo, which I'd already edited because I'm not showing you how to edit here other than just this one trick. Um, you're gonna pretend, and I'm gonna pretend, that there's a street light on the right-hand side of this photo, and that it's hanging over here in front of the Hotel de Ville, and we want the light to pull down here in the bottom right corner, and I want the light to kind of match the light that's coming off that carousel. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna bump up the exposure, I'm gonna bump up the warmth, and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm on the adjustment layer. I'm gonna get the radial mass for this layer, and I'm gonna click and drag my little radial over here, make it a little bit better size. I'm gonna hit invert, and you can see I'm onto something here. I've already got that kind of little uh, circle of light uh, playing there, and um, I wanna get it just right in just the right place. I think that looks pretty good, but the color isn't in quite an exact match, so I'm gonna add another filter, and I'm gonna get color temperature down here, and I often don't use color temperature because color temperature is also built into the develop filter. I use it there like on every photo, but the separate color filter, excuse me, color temperature filter, I often don't need. But in this case, I do. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get this kind of pinkish kind of color, uh, kind of the magenta, and move away from the green on the tint slider in color temperature and kind of towards the, uh, towards the uh, magenta. And I think that did the trick. So if you look at that uh, little area, there's the before a little bit greenish hue, I mean kind of yellow, and now it's got a little bit more of that pinkish hue, and I think it's picking up some of that. I could do one more thing. I could go stick golden hour. I don't know if this is gonna work. We're making it up as we go, folks. I'm flying blind here, but I'm gonna add golden hour, and now I don't wanna overdo it, right? Keep in mind, I'm on a, a filter that's applied to the whole layer, so any filter, excuse me, I'm working on a mask, a radial mask that's applied to the whole layer. So any filter that I stick on this layer is going to apply just where the mask is. And the mask is just that little radial circle. That's why nothing else is being impacted because I'm on a layer and I've masked the entire layer. So all my edits are going just where the mask goes. That's why. So golden hour is too much at 100, of course. But, you know, adding a little golden hour to, you know, what am I at? 33, maybe a little bit less, maybe 26. I think, I mean, I think I've got that kind of looking a little bit like the cobblestones over here. Let me show you the before and the after. Again, no other edits to the photo, so there's nothing else going on the photo. All the action is in that bottom right corner, so one more time, before and after. And let me do a slider across this thing so you can see the difference. Again, you and me are both imagining a street light that's like right on the right-hand side of that that's hanging into the frame and it's dropping a pool of light. So if you have photos like that, that's how you go add a kind of a spotlight. Um, and I think we did a good job there, uh, you and me together, just working on this thing. So that's how you do it. It's basically, generally speaking, you add a new layer. You add the exposure filter and color temperature if you need it. Um, sometimes you can use vignette like I did on the flower. You can also use that inner brightness on vignette to just add to that effect. So there's a couple of different things you can do here, but I just wanted to share some general ideas about how do you create a spotlight effect. Um, I actually did this in a video like a year and a half ago, um, but the video is about something else and I did this as sort of an aside in the video. So I wanted to have one video just on that idea. And I hope it helps, my friends. That was really what that was about. I hope it answers the questions for those of you that have asked. And um, I'll let you get back to your regularly scheduled programming. So thanks for watching, my friends. Have a great day. I'll see you again real soon. Take care and adios.